Don't take this message out of context, but it's something that I have to tell you. It's something that is true. If you can really get this, you can actually <sighs> progress in your life. You know, a lot of people are fighting the wrong battles. And what I mean by that, I was thinking of an analogy that what I was running, the best way I can put this, and this isn't put beautiful, I haven't thought about this, but it's like a soldier, right? A soldier turns around and fights all these people, all these oppositions, right? A soldier de de <laughs> destroys all these oppositions, all these enemies, all these people trying to bring that soldier down, but those people are behind that soldier. And that soldier doesn't realize that these people cannot touch him if he keeps moving forward, if he keeps focusing what he needs to focus on. But this soldier, he or she turns back and fights all these oppositions and slays these oppositions, slays these enemies, just to find out when the soldier turns around that the real oppositions are right in front of its, her, his or her face. This soldier used all its energy to fight opponents that it, that it wasn't meant, that she or he wasn't meant to fight. You might say, Trent, what does that have anything to do with me? A lot of you right now, you're fighting enemies, you're fighting oppositions, you're fighting things that aren't meant for you to fight. There's a reason why God says, give him all your burdens, cast all your worries upon him. The battle was for the Lord, the Lord got you. It's a reason why that, because a lot of us, we worried about people that are in our life, that aren't in our life. A lot of us are worried about strangers going back and forth with them, fighting that battle. And you realize why you don't have no energy to fight the real strongholds in your family. The strongholds coming against your kids, the strongholds coming against your household and using all this energy to fight people that really don't matter. And don't take this out of context as if you can't be corrected, as if you can't be held accountable. But a lot of us, we're allowing people that aren't a part of our life to control our life. There might be somebody on this live right now that's saying, Trent, you suck, Trent, all this. I'm not going to fight that opponent because it's not meant for me to fight that opponent. I have too many opponents in my life. I have too many enemies in my life. I have too many things that are trying to destroy me in my life that need my energy. And when you put your energy in the wrong things, you have no energy to fight the right things. I want you to hear me right now. Stop allowing people to put their truth on your life. They didn't make you. A lot of you are allowing people that didn't make you to make you. A lot of you are allowing people that didn't mold your life to tell you how to live your life. A lot of you are doing that. A lot of you are allowing people that are literally know no truth about you that wasn't in your struggle you're allowing people to criticize your life and you believe those criticisms that ain't going to be there to comfort your life at your rock bottom. I'll be damned if I'm letting somebody criticize my life that wasn't there when I needed people the most. You're allowing people to bring your life pain and you're believing that pain to the people that won't even pray for you. You're allowing people to tell you that you can't live a certain type of life or you can't do certain type, type of things and placing their projections on you. You're allowing people to put their fears on your life and now you're living a fearful life because of the battle that you're trying to fight, which is with the wrong people. God made you for a purpose on purpose. And the truth about it is most people ain't going to understand it because they didn't create you. Stop letting people quote this. Stop letting people that didn't create you control you. You're allowing human beings that, that are, are living their perspective and respect to it. You're allowing people that's living their life, their truths, all those things that are putting those on you and you're feeling guilty, you're feeling bad, you're feeling like you're not enough with people that don't even know their own worth. You're allowing people that don't even know who they are to put labels on yourself to, for you to question who you are and whose you are. Stop allowing people's opinions and people that aren't going to be there for you to control so much of you. And this is not no thing of ego. I'm not telling you to block everybody out because you should have a wise counsel around you that will tell you the truth, that will hold you accountable. So don't take this message out of context, but I'm talking about the people that could care less about you. That's controlling so much of you because you worried about their opinions just because they say, oh, this is true for my life. They ain't even around you. They don't even know what you've been through. They came in on your chapter 38 and they judging your path when they don't know what you've been through. They judging the, oh man, y'all ain't hearing me, man. Y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all ain't hearing me. I ain't gonna ever sugarcoat stuff and I'm gonna be straight up with you because I've seen it before. I've seen it over and over. It almost happened in my life where we allow people that ain't gonna be at our damn funeral, that ain't gonna be calling out to our family when we gone. You know what I went to, I'm gonna share something real with y'all. When I went to my mom's wake, when I went to my mom's funeral, I'm going to be real with y'all. The thing that I thought about, and there were a lot of people there, by the way. A lot of people show love, so don't wear the shoe if it don't fit. But I went to my mom's service, and I was thinking about, man, like, I know my mom was controlled by opinions at some point because she's a human. 
I know my mom silenced her voice for a little bit because she a human. We all have done it at some point. And I question that I ask myself, man, I wonder if these people at my mom's wake, I wonder if these people at my mom's funeral, I wonder if these people gonna bring flowers to my mom's grave. I wonder if these people gonna be checking up on my mom's family, checking up on her sons, checking up on, my, on her husbands. No. And now that my mom is gone, she lived some of her life for people that could give a damn if she was here or not. And that's just facts, man. And some of y'all, you're letting all these people on social media, all these strangers, all these people that got something to say, all these people that's trying to highlight your mistakes, all these people that get high off of making you feel low, you allowing these people to control your life and it's taking away the energy from the people that deserve your energy, the people that's going to be there for you, the people that's going to support you, the people that's going to help you in hard times, the people that's going to lift you up, the people that's going to give you a helping hand, the people that's going to give you a dollar, the people that's going to give you shelter, the people that's going to be praying for you, the people, oh man. Y'all ain't hearing me. And you worrying about these people. So people always ask, Trent, how do you not get so caught up in people trying to tear down your name and people saying this or that? Because it don't matter to me. It don't matter. I got a firm belief on what matters and who matters. I know what God built me for. Do I make mistakes? Yup. Am I flawed? Yup. If you're around me for 24-7, will you be like, dang, man, I thought Trent was, I ain't perfect at all. That don't mean I'm a bad person. I'm a progressive person. I know I can look back in my life and be like, you know what? I'm better than I was last month. I'm better than I was last year. That's what life is about. Some of us, we, we live this facade world, this filter life because social media has, let me, let me calm down a bit. Social media has convinced us that we got to live this filter life, that we got to live this perfect life. And a lot of us were depressed. We're anxious. We're all these things because we're trying to add our life up to perfection. The measuring stick for our life is this filter society. And we sit and we feel like, dang, if I'm not perfect, if I'm not this, if I'm not that, then I'm not enough. You were created enough, my friend. God created, created you enough at birth. God gave you worth at birth. And when you going to start believing that? When you going to start believing that? You allowing someone else's perspective to control the direction of your life. You allowing somebody to control your footsteps of your journey when they don't know the path of your journey. They don't know how far that you've came. They don't know where you're going. You're allowing somebody to make you that didn't make you. You're allowing somebody to control you that didn't create you. I'm not telling you to live arrogant. I'm not telling you to live egotistical. But what I'm telling you to do is stop fighting the wrong damn battles, man. Stop giving your energy to people that don't deserve an ounce of your time. Stop giving your all to people who are giving nothing to you. You got to wake up because there's real battles in this life that need your energy. But some of us are drained because we keep entertaining people that are just subscribed to our life. And what I mean by subscribe, they got a subscription to your life. What I mean, they sit here and watch you like a TV show. They entertain by your life. They sit here and watch you. They sit here and pick you apart. That's what they do. They get their high for making you feel low, right? When you're down, they get their high for that because our, oh man, y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all ain't hearing me. And some of y'all don't want to hear it. So I want you to really evaluate your life, look at your life and ask yourself, what wrong battles are you fighting? What wrong battles are you fighting? And yeah, when somebody sit, sits back in the bleachers, it's like, it's like sports fans watching professional athletes, right? They sit back and they pick professional athletes apart and they wouldn't step on the same court as that professional athlete. They pick that professional athlete apart, right? Oh, they suck or this or that when that person couldn't even step on the same court as that professional athlete. Or they pick a person that has a platform that has the guts and the courage to go out there and share their message, to go out there and go for it. And people in the arena sit here and critique the gladiator. They sit here and critique the gladiator. They sit here and criticize the gladiator when those people don't have the same guts and the same courage to fight their own battles. So the next time you allow people in your arena of life that's in the bleachers, to control how you're playing your game of life. The next time you allow them to control you, change your perspective. There's three types of people in life and I'm gonna get out after this. There's three types of people. There's the watcher, right? To me, this is the worst type of person. 
This is a person that just spectates, that just watches, right? They don't watch to learn. They don't watch to grow. They watch to condemn. They watch to criticize. They watch to tear down. There's a lot of people in the world that do that. They just watch. Then there's the second type of person. That person is the wisher, right? Better person, but they live in the, the realm of wishing for everything. I wish things would get better. I wish things would change. I wish I was healthier. But they do nothing to walk out those wishes and make those wishes reality. And then there's a the third type of person, you, the worker. And simply put, this is the person that just puts in the work. This is the person that falls, but puts in the work to get back up. This is the person that's going through a mental health battle, but is out here in nature, connecting with nature to work on themselves. This is the person that's getting the most out of their life. This person ain't perfect. This person ain't got it all together, but this person is progressing. You make sure out of that three, you the person doing the work and not criticizing somebody else that's trying to do the work because you don't know somebody's story. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know what they're going through. And a coward, and I hope it hits you in the soul when I say this, only a coward will try to break down instead of trying to build up. Because cowards become blind to their own mess because all they see is the mess in others. So as I wrap this message up, man, Stop letting people control you that didn't create you. Stop letting people that you weren't made by make you. Don't let them put their limitations on you. Don't let them put their fears on you. Don't let them put their truths on you. You know what's real. Connect with God and work on yourself. But like I said in every single message, it all starts with you. Let's get it.